I knew there was great potential in you, my friend. You've done a fantastic job. Though my ancestors often struggled against the three evils and their minions, I've always lived a shut-in scholarly life. I'm glad that my wisdom aided you. Now, I wish to leave this place. Though Heaven's gates are a marvel to behold, I hope I won't have to see them again for many, many years. Please, talk to Tyrael about leaving this place now. Praise be to the light. You have accomplished the impossible. Diablo and Mephisto have been banished back into the black abyss that spawned them, and the corrupted soul stones are no more. However, while you were fighting here, Bale remained behind in the mortal realm, building an army of hellish minions. Now Bale's army is searching for the world stone, the ancient source of all the soul stones and their power, while leaving behind a wake of destruction. They have forged deeply into the barbarian homelands, heading directly for the summit of Mount Ariad. Bale knows, mortal hero. That is the very site of the Blessed World Stone. Now, enter the portal I have opened for you. It will take you to the barbarian city of Horogoth, the last bastion of order on the slopes of Ariad. The gates of Sacheron have stood for eons beyond remembrance, and you shall not breach them now. Remove your foul demons from our lands. We stand on the side of light, and you shall not be allowed to reach Mount Ariat. And that which you seek will not be yours. Enough! Enough! I shall take your position into consideration.
It seems your terms are not acceptable. <laughs> I, Mala, welcome you to Harogoth, the last stronghold of order on Mount Ariat. You have come to the right place if you intend to defeat Bale, the Lord of Destruction. Bale has laid waste to our mountain and its denizens. His minions continue to attack our town, while Qualkek and his men have proven helpless to stop them. Bale is still out on the mountain looking for something, but I know not what. All of the Elders, save Nilathak, sacrifice themselves to place a protective ward around Harogoth. Some of us here, certainly Nilathak, do not appreciate your presence. We are a proud people, and it is not easy for us to accept aid. I, however, am glad you are here. If you need healing or a potion, please come to me. See Larzak for weapons, armor, and repairs. Nilathok, despite his disposition, may be of some assistance with other wares. Finally, Qualkek, our man-at-arms, leads Herogus' remaining forces against Bale. If you're here to defeat Bale, you must prove it. As we speak, Haragoth is under siege by Bale's demons. Catapults rain death just outside the town walls. Bale himself travels up the sacred mountain, having left in charge here one of his most vicious generals, Shank the Overseer. A ruthless taskmaster, he lashes his own minions into suicidal frenzies on the battlefield. If you wish to prove yourself to us, destroy the monster Shank that commands those infernal catapults outside Haragath. If you manage to do this, return to me. Ah, a necromancer. While I admire your courage in seeking out the darker side of magic, we really have little need of you. Yes. It takes more than a siege to stop me. You're an even greater warrior than I expected. Sorry for underestimating you. As a token of my appreciation, I will craft sockets into an item of your choosing. And from now on, you'll get the best price for all my wares. At your service.
Evening. My concerns have turned to my men taken prisoner on the battlefield by Bale's demons. I hate to think what's happened to them. As you journey up the mountain, keep your eyes open for my soldiers and bring them back to me if you can. Do that here. Thank you for rescuing my men. They have spoken well of your bravery in battle. Perhaps there is hope for us after all. If you wish, you may hire some of my mercenaries that you saved. And please, take this set of runes. I had been saving them for a socketed shield, but I think you'll make better use of them. Be sure to set them in the right order for their fullest effect. What is it? It's a matter which I hesitate to share, but I believe you are the only one who can help me now. Anya, the young alchemist and daughter to one of our slain elders, has been missing for some time. She is a strong, crafty woman with a spirit like no other. One night, just before your arrival, I overheard her and Nilathak arguing about her father's death. The next morning, she was gone. Nilathak has his own tale as to where she went and why. Don't believe him. I fear he's at the root of her disappearance. Please, if you can, search for Anya and bring her back to us. She'll know what to do about Nilathak.
hero, Neelithak, did this to me. If you've come to help me, my only hope lies with Mala. Please, tell her you've found me. So, that snake Neelithok was behind Anya's disappearance, and he trapped her with a freezing curse. Here, take this potion to Anya and give it to her. That should release her. Thank you so much for bringing Anya back to us. I have devised this spell to increase your resistances as a token of my thanks. I know it isn't much, but I hope you find it helpful. Please, go talk to Anya. She has urgent news concerning Nilathok. You have proven yourself a true hero to me and my people. These are dark times, warrior. I hope you can bring an end to Bale's reign of destruction. Our Council of Elders is gone, my father Ost among them. The one thing that keeps us from total despair is the promise of vengeance against Bale. Thank you, hero, for rescuing me. To show my personal gratitude, I give you this. I had it custom made for you, by Larzak. Nilathok told me he struck a deal with Bale to protect Taragath. In exchange for the demon's mercy, the misguided fool plans to give Bale the relic of the ancients, our most holy totem. Doing so will allow Bale to enter Mount Ariat unchallenged by the ancients. I tried to stop Nilathok, but he imprisoned me in that icy tomb. Nilithak must be stopped before he dooms the whole world. As much as I would love to strangle the life out of him, I'm afraid I haven't the strength. You must go to his lair through this portal I've opened, kill him, and then bring back the relic of the ancients. Stop Nilithak from destroying what we have striven for eons to protect. of death.
have stopped Nilothok, but he didn't have the relic. He must have already given it to Bale. Now Bale will not be tested when he reaches Ariat's summit. <sighs> Damn Nilothok. <sighs> I do thank you for trying, though. Please, allow me to honor your courage by magically inscribing your name onto an item of your choosing. It's the least I can do. place of the ancients. We are the spirits of the Nephilim, the ancient ones. We have been chosen to guard sacred Mount Ariad, wherein the world's stone rests. Few are worthy to stand in his presence. Fewer still can comprehend his true purpose. Before you enter, you must defeat us. spiritual presence from entering the chamber of the world stone. Only you, mortal, have the power to defeat Bale now. Bale threatens the world stone, and through it, the mortal realm itself. You must stop him before he gains full control of the sacred stone. With it under his control, Bale could shatter the boundaries between this world and the burning hells, thus allowing the hordes of the prime evils to pour forth into the mortal realm like an unstoppable tide. If you are weak, the world as you know it could be lost forever. You must not fail. Impossible. You have proven yourself to these people. They look to you as their warrior, their champion. Besting the Ancients in battle is a mighty feat indeed. I hope this means you're ready to battle Bale.
You stand before me a worthy hero, and on you rests the last hope of our people. Bear it well, warrior. I knew the ancients would find you worthy of Mount Ariad's secrets. Now, stop Bale before he destroys all that is sacred. The ancients have honored you. And in turn, so do we. I have no remaining doubts about you now.
never doubt my skills. I am impressed, Mordred. You have overcome the greatest challenge this world has ever faced and defeated the last of the Prime Evils. However, we are too late to save the World Stone. Bale's destructive touch has corrupted it completely. Given enough time, the World Stone's energies will drain away and the barriers between the worlds will shatter. The powers of Hell will flood into this sanctuary and eradicate your people and everything you've labored to build. Therefore, I must destroy the corrupted World Stone before the powers of Hell take root. This act will change your world forever, with consequences even I cannot foresee. However, it is the only way to ensure mankind's survival. Go now, mortal. I have opened a portal that will lead you to safety. May the eternal light shine upon you and your descendants for what you've done this day. The continued survival of mankind is your legacy. Above all else, you have earned a rest from this endless battle. Good afternoon. If Tyriel says the World Stone must be destroyed, then it must. We cannot let Bale's corruption prevail. The world will change, true. But who is to say it isn't for the better? Good day! The destruction of the World Stone does not bode well for our world, but I'll try not to worry. After all, we have warriors like you fighting for us, and for the Light. Farewell. The Ancients themselves will envy our songs about you. Please, don't forget about us. Farewell, my friend. Good morning. You have done the impossible, hero. Your defeat of the last of the three prime evils is a great victory for the Light. Strange that you say that the World Stone must be destroyed. The prophecies said nothing about that. Perhaps all we have fought for will be lost. Or perhaps we'll never need fight again. <laughs>